Hi everybody, just a quick update video. Well, I bought a few more planes. I bought this Stanley number no. 7 off of eBay fairly inexpensively because it's got a little bit of pitting on the sole in the very back edge, which is not going to affect anything. And because of that, I don't think collectors wanted it, so I got it for very, fairly inexpensive. And then I found this Stanley 6C, which was also inexpensive because it had a little chip out of the rear handle. But when I got it, when I finally got the box, unfortunately, it had been kind of manhandled in shipment. And the front knob was shattered around the base um, to the point that the rod that goes up through the front knob was actually bent over. Also, the whole rear um, handle had a huge, huge piece uh, broken off the top. So I had to do all that fixing to be able to use it. It wasn't the shipper's fault, or actually, it wasn't the seller's fault. It got damaged in shipment, and uh, I'm not asking him for anything, but I was able to fix it with some glue and a hose clamp, as you see here, to get it all back together. So here's where my modular plane till ended up on the wall. And even though I built all the tills to hold uh, Stanley planes 3 through 8, I only have these three on the wall right now because that's all I'm using. But now I can bring over those other tills I've already built for number 7 and number 6. And just like I did in my previous video, I'm going to lay each of the uh, planes in its respective tills and mark the top edge. And this is just gives me an idea of where the plane is going to sit. And then I can basically go through and start uh, drilling it out for the magnets that need to hold them. And I'm using these one inch magnets that have like a 50 pound holding strength. So they're pretty strong. And they just take a screw through the middle to hold them in place. And with a Forstner bit, I'm just going to drill a one inch hole. And I just kind of, I just kind of eyeball this because it's kind of a weird place to drill because it's on an angle. And I kind of just drill down slowly, um, and I stop and check the magnet fit until I get to the right depth. I just want this magnet just a hair under the surface, just a slight hair so it's not scratching the bottom of the plane, but enough that it's got a full strength to hold it in place. And then I'm going to go ahead and repeat that with the other holes. And then I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the shavings real quick before I go ahead and screw all these magnets in place. And now I just go ahead and uh, test fit the planes and make sure they're going to hold firmly and everything's okay with them. I'm just going to go ahead and hang uh, number six and number seven on the wall next to uh, the other plane tills that are already in place. And then we'll uh, just put the planes in their new homes. And I still have a little bit of room there for a number eight when it finally crosses my doorstep. Anyway, I hope you can see the utility of uh, my modular plane design. And, uh, you know, if there's free plans available, they'll be link down in the description as well as a link to the video of how I built it last week. So uh, take a look at it, see if it fits your needs. Uh, once again, um, if you like what you see here, give me the like. If uh, you want to have a comment for me, leave me a comment. I pretty much read and comment on everything. So you'll see that I'm a little unusual in that case. I actually read your comments. Um, if, uh, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out and lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. Also, ring the bell. You'll get notified when my next video comes out. Thanks, everybody. Bye.